Hey boys and girls, it's your resident lore master back again, and we finally gotten through most of the risk of rain to lore log entries. So I think it's about time I level up my content and start making longer videos and giving you guys better content to consume. So I might slow down a bit, but the quality of the videos will definitely be going up from here. So let's get right on our journey and explain the endings for each of the risk of rain characters and elaborate on them a bit because they're all interesting and it's a video you guys asked for and I hope you enjoy. Among the survivors, we're gonna start with the good old vanilla boy himself, Commando. I don't feel like anybody likes him very much, but hey, here we go. Basically, Commando's ending once you beat the game says, and so he left with everything but his humanity. This kind of harks back to his introduction when he's introduced in his lore and flavor text where he just leaves a combat zone and just a battlefield and he was explaining how he was tired and you know he was like there's no time for me to rest but considering what you do on the risk of rain planet and how you're just constantly killing things the leaving without his humanity kind of infers that after killing for so long and killing so many things humans aliens whatever you want to call it void creatures after a while it probably takes a toll on you and mental emotional and psychological ways so as they say he left without his humanity he probably wasn't much of a man anymore after all that killing he did now moving on to explain the ending for huntress when you beat the game with her it says and so she left her soul still remaining on the planet this is kind of interesting because huntress's profession is a bounty hunter so you know she hunts people for a living so honestly this could be inferred that she actually enjoyed the environment of the planet everything trying to kill her and her hunting the native entities there and all the things that live there and fighting them it was probably something that she truly enjoyed doing as an individual so when she left the planet you know she could no longer she could no longer hunt freely she had to you know stay within the confines of being a bounty hunter in outside space but on the planet the risk of rain 2 planet petragor she could kill whatever she want hunt it hunt whatever she wanted whenever she wanted and she wasn't restricted so but moving along to our favorite multifunctional robot, Multi, his ending reads, and so it left, ready to recharge. Basically, we know from Multi's flavor text and his lore log that he gained sentience at some point. So he probably just left after he defeated Mithrix and, you know, tried to discover more about himself, the universe, and life. Not too much to expand on there. So let's keep moving along. But moving on to the next ending that we're going to explain is basically Engineer's ending. And when we beat the game as Engineer, Basically, the ending flavor text reads, and so he left more steel and circuit than man. So basically, as you guys know, an engineer is a person, you know, that creates, usually modifies or creates something to maintain infrastructure or to solve problems in one way, shape or form. Due to the hostile environment of the planet, the engineer probably had to modify itself to just be, you know, extremely adept at combat, defense and, you know, just have good life support or some type of system to keep him alive due to just the hostile nature of the planet and everything trying to kill him. And there was plenty of stuff on the planet that he could use to modify itself, such as the things from the contact light and even the alien technology on the planet. So I kind of like his ending, it's really cool. And moving on to another one of my favorite character endings where it goes to the artificer or artificer, whatever you guys want to say, I know my English is bad, whatever, who cares? but the artificer so when you beat the game with her her flavor text ending reads and so she left in love with a new passion to explore so if you guys don't remember from reading artificer's flavor text from her um character card basically she's part of the high court and they have the belief and faith that there is a literal planet that represents heaven in the universe so after coming to petragor v well petragor 5 rather there's plenty of stuff that can literally convince you that there's so much sentient life magical things and that would you know literally reinforce the belief of someone like her who was a member of the high court that they're looking for this heaven planet because just so much of the stuff on the risk of rain 2 planet confirms magical things reality bending things higher levels of entities such as like gods things like new mithrix and also providence confirms so much for it so this definitely probably extended expanded her mind and reinforced the fact of her looking for the heaven planet out there and just you know give her love for exp exploration because she probably feels like one day she'll actually find it you know and she can be in heaven so this is a really cool flavor text and a really cool connection to her lore as a member of the high court but let's move along moving on to our next ending basically we go to our good old mercenary 
and his flavor text reads, and so he left with terrible power and shaking hands. So I think this is very interesting in a way because you guys know what a mercenary. A mercenary is a soldier for hire that works for money. And when coming to the risk of rain planet, considering all the items, the regular items, lunar items, and stuff in the contact light, you become extremely powerful. So after killing Mithrix and leaving the planet, as a regular mercenary coming out of this situation, you'll probably be in shock because you're going back to human society or regular society with all this power. And, you know, what could you do? You could be a ruler. You can get all the money you want. Adapting to that would be a really huge change. Imagine giving a regular man in the world or a regular person just all the money in the world or just a high amount. You wouldn't know what to do at the point. So I feel like mercenary at this point is a little shell shocked by his power that he has and is trying to figure out what to do with it and how to proceed with his life after leaving the planet. Let me know guys what you think about that and let's move on to the next ending. The next on the list for endings is our good old boy Rex. You guys know I don't really like Rex because the way you know he plays but his ending basically reads and so it left ready to grow into something more. This ending is pretty relevant because you as you guys know Rex was originally a machine that was used to grow plants for a sustainable food store so like an orbital station in space but basically the plant and the robotic parts of rex fused together and became sentient so after i'm assuming you know killing mithrix and gaining all this power it probably had the ability to continue to evolve into a higher level of being so that it's probably the next process that will happen to rex due to it attaining sentience and all that who knows what it could become who knows that could, if it could evolve to something on the level of Providence and Mithrix or even beyond. So that's a really interesting thought and just piece of lore. Let me know what you guys think about Rex's ending and let's keep going. But moving right on to Loader and her ending. When you beat the game, her flavor text basically reads. And so she left. Heart still racing. So this plays into the fact that Loader is probably someone that was really adventurous or just was an adrenaline junkie overall because any regular galactic citizen in this situation will be, you know, terrified, traumatized, or have PTSD from this because you're on an alien planet. Everything's trying to kill you. But, you know, it says, so she left heart still racing. It's kind of maybe plays into the whole idea that she enjoyed it on some level. The adventurous aspect or the adrenaline of being on this planet and going through all these things. But that's my take. Let me know what you guys think. But moving on to the next character, it's probably a cult classic character. I feel like everybody likes Captain in one way, shape or form for one reason or the other. But when you beat the game with Captain, his flavor text basically reads, and so he left with a new tale to tell. I think this plays into the fact that Captain is a veteran explorer or military officer and has survived many things. He has prosthetics, which means he lost some of his limbs and some of the adventures he probably had were extremely dangerous traumatizing or definitely worth mentioning so you know this adds another one to his tally which just shows he's going to keep going and not stop all of his adventuring and his space travel which is really cool he just seems like that old grizzled veteran that you want on your side but let me know what you guys think or feel about his ending and let's move on to the next one moving on to bandit another cult classic character i think bandit was actually one of the characters that was voted in by a contest by the community so that proves the cult cult favorite aspect of him but when you beat the game with him his flavor text basically reads and so he left grateful for his luck originally bandit boarded the contact light to steal the contents of many of the containers some of the luxury and rare items on there to flip and turn a profit after he escaped unfortunately he ended up on petrigor 5 fighting for his life so if you were in that situation and you survived i would imagine you would definitely be grateful for your luck and think about changing your profession after escaping but that's Bandit's ending. And let's move on to the final one we have with all the characters up to date in the current version of the game. Before the DLC, of course. And going on to our last character, it's Kershawn the Heretic, who's a secret character who you can't really unlock and pick from the select screen. As you guys know, you have to get all her body parts from Lunar Pods or from the Lunar Shop with Mr. Newt because she was sealed for betraying someone. But we'll go into that later. Her ending basically reads... And so they left, bitterly avenged and deeply lost. And there's another ending, I think they changed it after one of the updates it, uh, it originally said, I think. And so they left, two stories ending as one. This refers, just like this current ending that they have, as they. It refers to you as this because basically you're still the original survivor, whoever you picked, and transformed into Kershawn with when you got her body parts. So technically you're two characters leaving. So 
when they say she was bitterly avenged, she avenged Mithrix or Providence, whichever one, whichever one of them ripped her body apart for betraying them in whatever way. So she feels avenged and after she leaves, she doesn't really know what to do because she wanted to escape the planet. So it's kind of like a bittersweet thing after, you know, fusing with another being after being ripped apart and, you know, killed by Mithrix or Providence, you know, you don't really know what to do. And that's kind of like just a sad way to go out. It's pretty tragic. Let me know what you guys think. Hopefully we'll be getting back into more videos. I've been like sick and down bad, so I'll stick around. There's too much going on in the world right now, but like sub share and I'll see you guys next time.